Hey guys, welcome back to another review. Today we're taking a look at a German figure by the name of Hein Schmidt. And if you guys know anything about dragon figures, then you know that this figure is incredibly difficult to get a hold of. And from what I've seen, he seems to have obtained kind of a legendary status among collectors. And uh, it's not hard to see why. This is a great figure. I've been after him for a good while. I want to say maybe like a year and a half. Um, but I was fortunate enough to have gotten him off eBay. Um, it was a huge haul being listed of maybe like, I think it was 10 figures. And Hein Schmidt happened to be one of the figures um, included in that haul. Um, so I was super excited to get this figure in my collection finally. It's been a long time. And uh, he's really a beautiful figure. So let's go ahead and show you the box. World War II, Ardennes Offensive, 1944. There's a great picture of the figure. I love the pose that he's in. Alright, and that's the only picture that they have of him on the box. So it's the same on all the sides. And then there's the back of the box. And the release date for this guy was 2006. Alright, so awesome looking box. Love the picture of the figure there. Let's go ahead and bring out Hein Schmidt now. Really excited to own this guy. Finally, he's really beautiful as you can see. Yeah, if you're into collecting uh, the German dragon figures, then this is definitely a must have. Uh, he just looks really epic. Let's take a look at him here for a second. All right, so awesome, awesome figure here. Um, yeah, the detail is great. He comes with uh, some great equipment here. The My favorite part about the figure is the uh, synthetic raincoat that he's got. Love the way that looks. But let's take a look at his rifle for starters here. Okay, here he is. Holding it. And here it is up close. Great detail as always. Okay, you can pull that back. And then there's the strap, which is adjustable. Alright, here's the head sculpt with the helmet on. This is, of course, the metal helmet. And that looks great, especially with the um, kind of scarf or mask that he's got there. Um, you can do a lot of things with the mask, actually. You can even put it over his face if you wanted to. That's kind of a cool look. But let's take off the helmet here. Get a better look at his head sculpt. Great looking head sculpt, nicely detailed. Alright, well if we take off the raincoat, we can get a better look at everything underneath. But once again, I just love the way that the raincoat looks on the figure. Uh, it just gives him such a cool and uh, I guess kind of an <laughs> epic look. I uh, really like that a lot. Let's go ahead and take this off though. Alright, so here it is again. And here's a look at everything underneath. And then just uh, briefly put the helmet back on. You can look, get a look at 
uh, what he would look like without the raincoat on. That also looks really nice, I think. All right, so um, as for his equipment, he's got uh, the pouches here for his uh, bullet strips. And then over here we got his knife and his mess tin, the bread basket, and then his canteen. Uh, but what's really cool about this figure is he comes with a whole bunch of medals here. You can see in the front, he's got four different medals. Let me get that in focus for you. Got one down there, this one here, the, um, the cross, I guess it's called the iron cross, I can't remember. And then that one over here, which actually needs to be uh, pinned back on. And then over on his arm, he's got some more uh, stickers or insignias that you put on. This one is actually already included on the figure, but this one you put on. And then he's got uh, this one on his sleeve. Uh, but overall, that looks fantastic. And then on top, you can see you got some more there. Then his um, shoulder pads. And then also the head scarf. Which uh, I like to keep around his neck, but I guess you can put over his head if you wanted to. All right, but moving on, um, I love the figure's pants that he comes with. He Underneath, he's got just the trousers, but um, these, which are called um, the M44 P-Dot Pattern Over Trousers, are really nice. Love the way that looks on the figure. And then his boots, which are also nicely detailed. You see they look very worn at the edge there, at the tip rather. Um, great detail. All right, and I think that's everything to show for Heinz Schmidt. Uh, once again, this is an awesome figure, as you can see. Um, yeah, I can't recommend him enough. He's great if you can find him on eBay. Um, I mean, <clears throat> I, he usually goes for around a hundred dollars, maybe. Um, I think that's a good price for him. I mean, with the haul, I paid like over $300 for the haul, but that was because I got 10 figures. So I think that's a great price, but, um, the figure by himself is definitely worth, I'd say a hundred. If you can find him for less, uh, good for you. Um, uh, but he's really hard to get hold of, so. Good luck finding him if you're interested in buying him. But thanks so much for watching, guys. And as always, I'll see you in the next review.